Hello guys, this is Shamri Shivarika from Bloggers Ideas and today I am going to do a detailed review of Interior Design Masterclass course by Kelly Westrop. But first, let me do a quick introduction to this Masterclass platform. So, the Masterclass is a course website where you get to learn about various subjects. What sets it apart from other educational websites out there is that Masterclass is a curated course platform. That is taught by the leading experts of given industries, which is really unique in my opinion. It has two pricing structures. If you are looking into taking one particular course, then you can pay $90 and get a lifetime access to that course. Or you can opt for an all access pass, where you can pay $180 annually and access as many courses as you wish to. I would strongly advise you to go for the second option because the content in this platform is simply exceptional and it is really hard to choose any one particular course. You would like to explore and know more about the courses and the knowledge that is shared by their amazing instructors. But if you're sure and are really looking for one particular course, then the first option is going to be awesome for you. Just to show you a quick overview of the Masterclass homepage, here is the profile. Masterclass community is where you can start a discussion on any course, topic or network with fellow students who have signed up for the same courses. You can also share an all access pass to your friend or family member who can be benefited from Masterclass. It will be like giving a gift of education and experience to your loved one. You can access courses that deal with various topics and choose which one you would like to learn or which instructor you would like to listen to. So that was all about the Masterclass homepage. Now coming back to Masterclass course about interior design by Kelly Westrow and whether it is worth it for you or not. So let's go and have a look. So now talking about the author, Kelly Westrow is 52 year old and is all about designs, colors and patterns. This game in design has claimed a lot of attention because of her work style and her understanding of layering things in the right manner. She has designed various residences, hospitality projects as well as furniture. Author of five books and appreciation of history. She is one of a kind and so is her design. She is very well known designer in California and has a very very active social life. So you can go and check her everywhere you want to. So talking about the course, the course is compilation of five sections, including the introduction and the graphic of the video are as creative as Kelly's designs. From the moment you start your class, you know that something exciting is coming up. Kelly will teach you all about how you can use colors, layers of various textures of what shape will look good for your lamp and how you can enhance any awkward area in your house. She will impart a sense of rugs, fabrics, arts, furniture and wall hanging onto you. The course is not too long, it is short and crisp and gives you a fair knowledge of the do's and don'ts of interior design. So let's dig in and find out all she has to give us. So now let's start with the course. With only four sections, the course is short and ends in less than three hours. Starting a project is the first section. It is divided into four videos which turn 29 minutes and explain all you need to do before you start a project. As the first step is to have some space of inspiration, Kelly tells you to have a collection of something that makes you happy and inspires you. Like the one she has of rocks, which can be your basic inspiration. Kelly explains how you have to listen to what the client wants in his or her home and make sure you consider all of their consideration. You also have to explore the space that you are going to design and what space you should consider while designing and changing anything. Kelly explains how it is important to look into the history of the space and how you can incorporate parts of it into your design. Kelly talks about giving an old soul a new spirit and how you could work around this. She also explains how to establish a dialogue between exterior content of the building and the interior and also how you can establish a relationship between your design and the present architecture of the space. Now moving on to this next section elements of design. 
This is the longest section of all which runs for 55 minutes and Kelly will take you through all the aspects that you need to overlook when it comes to design. This section has six videos and the first one starts with material. Kelly talks about the basic materials like wood, metal, plaster and tile and how you shall club them together in a bathroom to get the best result and how the patterns of material complement each other and create a whole new dynamic. She explains how you can mix and match material and how you shall take risks. But if you have any problem with your designs, you should immediately take the stand and solve it as soon as it is possible. The next part is color and how you can pair it up with each other. Where and how you can get your color inspiration and how black and white are colors too. Kelly suggests that you explore and experiment with these different colors and how there is no need to be scared of them. Colors can change the experience and appearance of a room. So you should experiment to get the best result. Paint a patch in your room and then color it. Live with it. Then you will know if it is the right option for you or not. Kelly explains how exciting it can be when you work with textures and explain that if you can, never really go wrong. If you use different textures and monochrome in the same room. Next, she explains how a pattern can work in various ways. How the pattern may react with different color shades or how the same pattern could completely take the spotlight on a fabric. The scale of pattern you choose is also a major contributor to how it looks. How patterns can take away the show or enhance it. It's all about experimenting. Lighting is one of the most important aspect of interior design and you have multiple options to play with the light source. The lamp, the chandeliers all expose a different mood and how you can create a story with them. You can combine art with light to give a better result. Kelly also explains how you should select the best light types. And in the end, Kelly explains the concept of how no detail is too small. Kelly answers the main question of all, what kind of sofa do I want? She gives tips on what kind of space shall have what kind of a sofa and also answers what you can do to amplify a small room size. Using art as an object of art is a great way to create magic in a space. She answers as to how you can choose the perfect piece, how you can explore and how fashion can be your most important inspiration. She talks about the ideas on how you can showcase your collection of various things. The painting you collect can be showcased on a plain white wall and can be covered with artwork and how they create beauty in their own way. You should have a focal point in the room and should give people something to look at. There is so much to experiment with you and all you have to do is take the risk and create art. The last section of the course runs for 19 minutes and has three videos. Here Kelly talks about the artists she has been admiring and how they inspire her. She later tells us how she defines herself as an interior designer and how she works and how work makes her happy. She also talks about her experience and imparts her knowledge and wisdom onto us and how you have to keep yourself happy to create the best outputs. In the end, Kelly talks passionately about fashion and art in general and how her curiosity influenced her major works and how she developed her design sense while being curious. She gives more stories and how she, her first project led to one and the other. She talks about her encounter with flea market and how she handles her big budgets as well. The course is a combination of various elements coming together and creating a beautiful story in the end. Just like how Kelly starts with one piece of art in her space and wraps around elements around it and it is just like a beautiful, beautiful story. So now talking about who should take up this course. I would recommend this course to everyone who has an artistic view. You could be an architect a fashion model, a magazine editor, or a housewife who loves to decorate her space. Or you can be remodeling your house and don't have the budget to hire an interior designer. 
This course is the right step for you to start your journey of creating art and artistic space to adore and live in. Now let's talk about the workbook you get. The workbook is as artistic as Kelly. It is graphically sound and is filled with tons of pictures to support the text. The workbook also has a couple of assignments that help you in understanding the gist of the subject. The assignments are easy and are more like experiments for you to understand your style or understand the scale and proportion. They are easy flowing and you are expected to upload your assignment in the hub where you can get feedback and you can chat with your colleagues, taking the same circle. So now let's talk about some pros of this masterclass. The best part of the course is that Kelly shares with us various studies and sites giving us more of practical knowledge than just plain theory. This makes a huge difference when you are into an artistic field. The way she unwraps every space for us and takes us through the process of work and teaches us how our workflow should be. Kelly imparts her experiences and I think that teaches us a lot too. The graphical representation of videos wins a plus from me. Every aspect of this course shouts out art to me, which is something I love. The course is short and very clean, which is something I was looking forward to. So now it is time for my honest review. The length of the course was perfect. I completed it in just two sittings and it was easy to understand. The way pictures in the videos are delivered, what Kelly is saying is something I really enjoyed. And it made me understand the depth of her words. Honestly, the course was just perfect to me. Kelly covered all the points that were easy to understand and the aspects which matter when it comes to designing. The workbook is a work of art. I enjoyed going through it too. Kelly talks about not only the creative aspect but also the emotions of the space and that was enlightening as space can have emotions too. And another point is that Kelly explains how finding inspiration is something really important and I completely agree with her. The entire course is curated based on experience and inspiration and that is the best thing about it. I would suggest you sit with a pen and a paper because Kelly gives little ideas or tips on how you can enhance the space and because of all the data that she imparts on you, you might feel a little lost at times. So it's important that you write down everything and learn and review it back in your workbook which gives you a summary of the videos. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. We would love to hear your thoughts about the same in the comments section below. Also, I highly recommend the interior design masterclass course by Kelly. And if you wish to pursue this, you can find all the details with this masterclass in the description box. Also, if you like this review, then please hit a like and share this video. And for more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And one last thing, don't forget to hit the bell icon because every time we come online, you will get notified. Signing off, this was Shamri Shivalka from Bloggers Ideas. See you very soon.